you're still you're still fresh with this Nets team. What's what's the energy like after uh, after a win like this? No Katie, no Kyrie. The guys that stepped up, the big shots you made. What's the energy like? It's the true definition of a team. You know, uh, you know, one man, two men go down. You know, next man up. And tonight was a perfect example of that. Um, got down twenty some at halftime, and we didn't we didn't give up. We didn't quit. We kept fighting and cut the cut the deficit down and kept fighting and give ourselves a chance to win at, win at the end of the game. And um, you know, things went our way. There's a lot of lot of communication. You talk about communication a lot. You know, during those timeouts and those huddles. Was there something that said something that kind of sparked, you know, the shift in momentum in this game? Uh, I think it was just all of us, our, our communication, you know, trying to get it right. Uh, sometimes in the, in the middle of the game, in the battle of the game, you know, there's going to be yelling, there's going to be, you know, but at the end of the day, we all got one common goal of us to win. So um, a lot of that was happening and, you know, we got it right. The second half, we were much better defensively, um, you know, holding them to, you know, 20, 25 and 24 points. And, um, you know, like I said, we got shots we needed to. We gang rebounded the basketball and uh, made big shots when we needed to. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, James, correct me if I'm wrong, but after the game, it looked like you got an ovation from, from some of the fans here in the arena. Can you talk about what that experience was like and just like what it's like to play in front of fans again? Uh, I felt great, especially here. You know, you know, this is, you know, we're raised, you know, playing college basketball here. Uh, 17, 18 years old. And so it was always love, you know, you know from the, the Arizona fans. Um, you know, it's just like one of my, you know, one of my places I call home. So uh, it felt great to have fans and, you know, get some booze, get some cheers. But I was so locked into the game, and I really didn't, didn't hear anything. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Hey, James, um, I don't think we're going to get a chance to chat with you until after the Lakers game. So if you'll allow me, um, this team, you know, you guys have said it's your collective goal to to pursue winning a championship. So how does a regular season game looking forward against the Lakers, the current reigning champions, kind of fit into that pursuit or test? And what does a game like this do to build momentum going into that game? I don't think it's who we're playing. I think it's about us. Um, we're trying to build something within ourselves and, and as a unit. Um, so I think from that Indiana game on, like these last few games, we've been really guarding and being, uh, we kind of know our roles, you know, now. So we kind of know our place on the court and, and every single night you have to do your job to the best of your ability. Um, and once you do your individual job as a unit, we're great. So I think uh, no matter who we're playing, no matter who's in the game for us, no matter our opponent, we have to have that mindset and we've had it. And tonight was a clear example of it. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, James, I got two for you. Just what, what was Steve's message to you guys at halftime? And, and then, you know, he's talked about embracing all that comes with the season and all the change and the wonkiness. Do, do you think you guys have kind of been able to, to become numb almost to all the, the attrition and the, the guys in and out of the lineup and all that stuff? Yeah, we're numb to it. You know, it's about winning basketball games. And, um, we're, we're dealt with these circumstances and, you know, we just have to, we can't complain about them. We can't, you know, powder one. We just have to go out there and, and attack it and, you um, you know, we tried. We tried to. Obviously, we're not going to come on top every single time like we would like to. But I think everything, every time, is going to be a learning experience. You know, so uh, whether we won tonight or lost tonight, you know, it's always going to be a learning experience. I think we we gained something out of tonight because guys got their confidence um, defensively. We we worked on some things that you know potentially we can work on later in the season or maybe next game. Um, but just building confidence from the entire roster that way. Your numbers call, you're ready to go, you're ready to contribute. And um, from Tyler not really playing a lot to playing big minutes tonight to uh, Bruce to Jeff uh, and down the line, you know, from top to bottom. Um, so it's just it's a chemistry building for us. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Your your last comment was actually what I was looking to ask you. So I'll, I'll switch up and I'll follow up on Malika's question. Um, like looking forward to the Lakers, I mean, history would show that you guys typically have played better against the better teams. Um, are you saying now, I mean, is part of the mindset now kind of, I don't want to say get away from playing well against the better teams, but taking everybody seriously at the same level. Is that Girl, part of kind of the mindset you're trying to grow to? Yeah, we're focused on ourselves. Like, obviously, offensively, we're really, really good. Defensively, we're not so great. And so we have to find ways to be better in that category, which we all know. And so we're working on that. And uh, whether it's the Lakers or 
in the other team, like that doesn't get us excited because we're still working on ourselves. If, I'm, if that if that makes sense. So uh, obviously, you know, we we understand the caliber of the team we're playing, but then within the, the whole you know situation is we're working on ourselves. So uh, Indiana's and the Sacramento's and the Golden States and tonight Phoenix, any of those games we could have lost, and we could beat the Lakers, and it's, it, it only counts as one win and one loss. So. The more we can build great habits on both ends of the ball um, and do that and try to do it consistently every single game is the bigger picture for us. Tom Dow, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, James, just going back to, you know, before halftime, you guys made a lot of shots in the second quarter. You know, did you feel at that point, you know, you're fine on that end, even without KD and Kyrie, you just get a couple stops, you know, you can kind of, you know, chop into it as you went along. Yeah, and that's what happened in the third quarter. You know, we made shots, but we guarded. You know, we kind of understood what they were doing in that first half. And we, were, we were much better. Um, you know, first second first quarter they had 33, second quarter they had 42. You know, so we couldn't we couldn't get a stop. I feel like every shot that they shot was going in. Um, so we made some adjustments at halftime, being more physical, switching, um, you know, running zone, do a little do a little bit of everything, and we found something that worked, and uh, we stuck with it. And then that's when our confidence, you know, got involved. Last question, Malika Andrews. James, I, I know getting playing the Lakers isn't exciting necessarily for you, but is what you guys are doing right now over these last couple of games is is that exciting? Like what 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 is what is it that's getting you that smile that you had when you were talking about what you guys are doing? The way we're playing and the potential we have as a team is what I'm excited about. Like coming into coming to Phoenix and they've won six, seven in a row. They've been playing with the ultimate confidence and we're down, you know, two of you know, our best players and um, we come away with a win, being down 22 and a half. It's like, that's exciting, you know, and we could have easily gave up. We were playing pretty well before this game, but we didn't give up and we won. So that's exciting. Now we just got to continue to build. Hopefully we get, you know, Katie and Kai back next game and just keep this train rolling, you know, into the break. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, James.